I got here. So. Top lane, the harass is also being thrown out. One stun. Back though, not enough to kill Fenrir. Ohio's gonna get burnt through pretty quickly here though, and Lanham sprints himself forward with a Shikuchi chasing this one down, and Ohio oh, dropping oh, no. low and actually dies there. The DJ, not able back. to save his buddy. Ohio up too. I'm gonna get the swarm placed back onto him. Yeah, all the way of that one. DJ looking for the dive in with a scorched earth though, and it's Doombringer. Four tangos. Going in Fenrir. deep. Fenrir, how much can you juke? He's gonna try and get himself back top. through this end, but it looks like he's pretty oh, stuck. In a cage of Fenrir's design, DJ and Ohio will be trapped in here for a little bit, but they can just... Mana issue, I suppose. In the line. Oh, he doesn't even have the mana drain yet. Alright, no, I'm not sure what he's doing then. <laughs> for the 2 one zero. This changes... nothing. Oh, what? Did I hear a Arc squeak? Soloed by mid one's invoker. In the end, wasn't... Intelligent Duke that mid one thought was coming from Ice Ice Ice. It was a straight walk in a line. Mid one now, Dream coiled up and old 11 starts pummeling into the Dark Tunnel. Forward is going to get himself out of the damage range. But mid one, the fairy fire, gets himself a little bit further away. He heals up his cold. No, he's not. He's down. An old chicken face shift is there, but the troll trap keeps him in place. The scorched dirt burns through, and old chicken all the way a little bit further. But the infernal blade comes out of DJ and snared up by Ice Ice Ice. And DJ, will he even lose his life? Four stick charges available for him to get himself back up to a decent amount of health. And he's even got the spawn skeletons to come through and try and help him out. But a Shikuchi from Lanham is all they need to secure, secure, secure the kill onto the Weaver on the Doom. How to do that right now? Trying to farm up that blink dagger so desperately. Oh, it might not be enough. Oh, oh, I see him. DJ zooms him up. There we go. Perfect start. Now bring that old chicken. Easy as that. If he coming through, the Chrono from Old Eleven holds on. Where's it going? He's not throwing it out. Oh, I'm still dropping very low stick charges there as well. Big carapace. There's the Chrono down on the floor. The damage output. Old Lanham. He's being ripped apart by the Force Spirit. The Chrono out one, but the Kings Kills only going to hold him a little bit. Old Eleven, time walk away. Get yourself away from this dangerous situation. Ice, ice, ice. Ripped to shreds. It doesn't look like a Lamb either, but Fenrir turns the his back. But DJ has an Infernal Blade in second. Slams down Fenrir. One more hit. Should be all he needs. He sticks around just to secure that kill and make damn sure. The disruptor is dead, while well, DJ done the strike with the damage up and the level clears him up and the old forward. They look for that, but they're not gonna get damage to the 3-4-3. The Dream Call is all they've got with a swarm flying out. Lanham still has a lot of mana and HP remaining, but he doesn't have any left anymore. The Forge Break clears him up with Invoker, mid one, clearing one after the other, and all the level retreating back to the beasting of health, but he's taken out again with a stun from Ohio, not quite catching on to old chicken. E home, they're throwing everything they've got into this fight, but Fnatic, they still come out on top. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Trying in for the old sun strike on for the puck. The mid one, five, one, and two with the hand of Midas Ring of Aquila, 2,000 gold, Dyer's closing in on that. Well, DJ attack. looks like he's gonna take down the tier one of the top lane. Oh, bottom lane though, Dyer's to the tower. Oh, it's grow no Stone gaze though. The stone gaze, old 11, he can't hit, and now comes out the heal from net. He's actually saved himself from this one, and old 11's taken out. The stone gaze crops at exactly the right time. A little bit. Yeah, tickle at them. Dyer's middle You've got no big OD, attack. no in. Invoker, no, no actual AOE combo play to throw in on top of it. Pong, start things off. The kinetic field and the static storm as well from Fenrir, and they'll land it perfectly. Mid one and net both fought in. They still get the tower. Mid one streak going to be taken out, and net. Oh, he trapped in the dream coil on top of it. The puck arrived at just the right time. Stun comes through from the next zone until 11. Slim back into death and into destruction. Two big kills for E home. They'll lose the Weaver in the meantime, though, down towards the bottom lane. And then you can reset, you can change up the fight, decide who you would now want to go into. Maybe Net's low at this point, so you uh, kill these two Static Storm and then you kill Net. You definitely see how this is going to work. I've never seen the actual trio go to town before. Top lane, they do have the Doom on top of Ice Ice Ice, running away. The Sun Strike didn't connect, but obviously, no damn, eventually. The question is, can you make it for creeps? Nope, you cannot. Arcane's mech on Doom. Bottom. Eleven. Thrown already. Net is very far up on the front lines and mid one, they're trying to keep this split as, as distant as they can, which is why Net moved further Dyer's towards the east. Old Chicken and Old Eleven, Blink Dagger and Time Walk ready and available. Net 
The lone target here though for Ehome if they want to try and jump in on anything and the tower's yeah, already dead. The TP coming bottom. through, who's this? None, sorry, stunned up. Ice, 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 with no song for the Chrono. Mid one gonna catch the Invoker alone. Oh, Fnatic. They stand the ground with the Stone Gaze out. Old Eleven caught in place as well. Mid one's still alive, but Chrono's wasted and the Hex comes through. Old Eleven stunned up as well. 3 for 3 Earthspike not gonna land. And Old Eleven levels himself back a little bit further to safety and that's Static Storm drops on the two net. DJ caught in that death zone, but that deafening blast from mid one keeps them all pushed further back. Honey home. Oh, do they have anywhere to go? Do they have anywhere to hide? Fenrir definitely doesn't. Trapped up by Ohio and DJ, and now they're looking for Old Chicken. Orb and Bacon ready and available. Old Chicken's gonna get him. Oh no! He winning ripped into the Dyer's carapace. All he had to do was Orb and shift and jump himself back. But he went for the sly play with a silence. I know we're back here. Like you can see a couple moments where there was like a four-man chrono. He had he, you know, popped out, could have got it even with range of the time walk, but you just can't see the things with that. There is a quick link up there for Ohio. On the hunt, these illusions. Going to trick Fnatic as they are smoked up by Ohio moves himself further forward here and looks for Dice Ice. ice. Arcus Siren. Stun to the Song of the Siren and Stun, not gonna land from Ohio. <laughs> Double stun in the same place. Blink back from the Nyx Assassin will save him. The question is, can Net survive as well? Static Storm. Now oh, Krona drops first. Let's kill off 343. Three. Down goes the Lion. Net, Stun Strike will land on top of his head, but it's a friendly one for the Stun comes through for Ice Ice Ice. They've caught out the Naga Siren. Jim Cole's not gonna do anything at all here. It's all 11 trying. Get back in, but the side does not. Just while running into the stony lady. Hatch managed to control. Old 11. Old chicken. They jump themselves into a old team fight here. Fnatic is happy at chipping away the tier 2 tower. Oh my god, this, this looks familiar. Naga leading the charge. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that as well, but. There's no, uh, there's no light of heaven, BKB, Black Hole, Enigma Dyer's here for Fnatic. They do have 343 Glimmer Cape lying over on the wings, though. And with the jump forward, Ohio, well, net is caught, but it's a doom with a hex. Old Chicken, Static Storm got them two of them, but Old Chicken still zoomed up. I'm jumping so forward, Stone Gates as well, I said that's a stun. And net will take him apart. Old Chicken being right down by the Doom DJ. Make sure that's his focus and priority. And Fenrir dropped as well, three for nothing. And Nick Assassin might even find Old Eleven over to the side. Blink's on cooldown, I mean, TP's on cooldown, a blink, red tower, but again, it's just more mounting pressure, more opening of the space for the Roshan, bigger items coming out, you've got the Agnes that drop on the mid one, 6, 2, and 10, he's crushing it, and he's gonna have items. 25 minutes, 13k net worth, Ags, COTs, Yules, now a Sun Strike on the Disruptor, I just barely caught that, only because I was looking at mid one. And your ground and right click away because e home they want to dog pile in onto a couple of heroes inside this setup they've got. Oh, uh, Ohio. And there's the stun in the stun strike and they've got him perfectly. Old chicken. For the smoke to come for Fenrir. And now it might be too late. The Naga Siren's running herself forward with a swarm into the pit. It doesn't look like it's too late. The Song of the Siren's ready for Ice Ice Ice. He's gonna throw it. No, he's holding a little bit longer, trying to wait this one out as they jump into the rope pit. Ice Ice Ice. They look for Roshan. All 11 trying to make it out. They get the edge of the bottom over to the Weaver as well. Sex Storm Killing Shield held them in place for the Yules after the mid one. Catches them, sends them out to the air. He's gonna try and save himself in this one. Turns back into action. That's Fortress Redemption's last back on the two of them. Figure that heals off one as well. And mid one, still alive. Ready with the Fortress back again onto Lanham. But this Weaver, he's too quick for that. DJ, Doom's already expanded and Lanham's Weaver trying to race himself away. 3 4 three's up on the high ground as well. But so far, the DJ just has a blink. So, if you don't, you know, if one person's just waiting, and again, one of these moving pieces for this, like, perfect, cohesive team fight that this draft needs to be successful, you're just gonna get blink doom. And you're not gonna be able to get off that chronosphere, so you just throw it out. And that's really the best you can do. It allows them to at least stay in the stack for a little longer. Dead for 53 seconds and without his chronosphere, maybe not worth flying back here. Net just trying to take down his barracks, his old 11, old Lanham even. Mm. Oh, but surely right click down, Static Storm's ready now. Naga Siren, of course, Storm's no song for a long ass time. Back of mid one's Invoker, 9, 2 and 11 with a full BKB completed now. Sunstrike, be armed. Waiting for the place to throw it. Bio, Static Storm. 
It's going to catch anyone. It does force the net deeper into the space, though, as Medusa stamps her ground. The Sunstrike not going to land on the ice, 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 but net. We're dropping low on the old mana pool and then glimpse back into the Kenton field. Do Fnatic need to go and fight this one to save Net? Doesn't look like they do. Net is tanking up as it is. The Dream Call expended on the Medusa alone. And Lanham just cannot do enough damage to this deal. Lack of kills and Net means he just keeps on ripping them apart while Isis has up on the front end is doomed to kill. The gem has dropped the career, takes it out. Chrono lands, catching out Net and DJ, but Lions But he's not fun. And Lanham, oh, Ohio, barely taking out the kill, but still with Devin Vance Media. Old Lanham cleared up and he holds. They've got nothing left in the tank. Fenrir and Old Lanham. Last people standing, but GG is called and Fnatic will take game number one here in this best of three. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And you look at it, you, you think to yourself, where's the damage going to come from between Dream Coil and Chronosphere? Just